How did the most anxious musician in the world face his fears and get himself up on stage? Find out in this video this week. Hey guys, hey internet, it's a very beige boy coming at you today with the topic for this week, how to face and get over your stage fright. Uh, it's no secret that I am by far one of the most worryful, worrisome, anxious person in the world out there. I, I look at everything from a negative perspective almost all the time, and it affects a lot of the things I do, but especially as a musician, putting my music online, and most importantly, playing my music live in front of other people. So I wanted to talk to you about that. If you see me looking down, it's because I've got some bullet points on my phone today that will help keep me on track, hopefully. So to get started, it's natural to to worry and to be anxious about getting on a stage that places you higher above your audience so that everyone's looking up at you. There's always some bright lights shining right on you and everyone for the most part is waiting to hear what you've got. And so, yeah, you're going to worry about that. I worry about not memorizing the lyrics I'm going to sing, not memorizing the chords for certain songs or what order they come in. Um, I'm worried about what else am I worried about? I have to look at my phone to see what I, what I worry about. Um, just overall sounding bad. Sometimes I worry about sounding good, but the other people in the room just aren't really feeling me. How do I face those fears? Well, let me tell you how I face those fears originally. Uh, super gross alert warning, by the way. Anytime I got ready to go play a show, I have to throw up. And once I threw up, you know, I felt invincible. Can definitely take on the world. But up to that point, it just all of my um, anxiety about playing the wrong chords and messing up a song or sounding bad or getting made fun of just all built up. And then once I threw up, I was good to go. And first of all, that's gross. And it's a burden on me and on other people. And it's also acidic and it hurts my throat. It burns. Um, and so that affected the way that I sang a lot. And to be quite honest, as time went by, I would start, if I knew a show was coming up, I would just guzzle down water as much as I could with the thought in mind that that way, when I inevitably throw up, it'll be like a warm water. Th Again, I'm very gross. I'm so sorry. It would be like warm water coming up instead and not so acidic and it wouldn't hurt so bad. Some things that helped over the years... Drinking water, lots of water. Uh, chewing gum, actually, before a show kind of helped calm me down for some reason. Um, stopped me from throwing up. Um, the number one thing that I felt like helped me the most was getting, if this is possible, getting to the venue I was going to play at like an hour early. That really, really eases me to put myself up there and give myself an idea of what the stage is going to be like, how high I'm going to be, what the lights will look like, that sort of thing. The main thing at the end of this video is there's, I'm sure there's multiple ways to get over stage fright, but something that rang in the back of my head and still rings true today is what my now brother-in-law told me way back when. I don't, I don't even know if he remembers telling me this. Um, when you get up there to sing your music, do it for you. Do it for you. There's musicians I know still that won't go and play live because what if I sound bad? What if I mess up the chords or mess up the lyrics or mess up my vocals? Or what if I sound good, but they just aren't really feeling my style of music? Uh, and so they refuse to go play live. When I get up on a stage and I have a guitar in my hand and I've got a mic in my face and lights and I see the tops of people's heads standing or sitting out in front of me, no matter what it is, what event, what venue I'm playing, I'm doing it for me. I'm just singing to myself, for myself, because I like to play the guitar and sing. And if the crowd's feeling it and if they're into it, great. If they're not into it, too bad. I was paid to come here and do that, so I'm going to collect that money and then leave. I've played at events where I had 400, 500 people with their eyes locked on me listening to me sing. And I've played at events and venues where... Um, nobody cared and they were all eating dinner and I don't even think they knew I was singing. I was happy in both instances because I was doing it for me. For the most part now, I definitely don't throw up anymore. 
Uh, I still get a little bit nervous just that I'm not going to do a good job. But So that's how I got through stage fright over the years. And again, now it really doesn't affect me all too much. And that takes practice and it takes time. And so uh, if you're worrying about stage fright, get started now and start practicing maybe some of the things that I did. Not the throwing up part. Don't try that. But the other things, try those. And maybe that'll get you through with that stage fright just in little ways. And once you get that first performance with that first public speaking engagement under your belt, it's going to get easier and easier as the years go by. I hope this video helped you. I hope you don't feel stage fright as much anymore at all. If you have any more questions or want to talk more about stage fright, comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, other than that, I've got another song for you. Another week, another song. So here you go. Yeah. 